Hi, I'm Ruth Martifio from the Information Labs Data School and I'm going to show you how to build a hub and spoke diagram. This chart type is useful if you want to look at relationships between points such as routes or migration data between countries or locations. It doesn't require data prep, but we are going to join um, a data set showing passengers refused entry at port and we're going to join that to longitude and latitudes from um, for a particular country. So let's jump into Tableau and get started. So first thing we'll do is we'll connect to our data. We're using an Excel file with the passengers refused. And we'll drag in the data sheet. And we're going to rename this to origin country. And we're going to add another data set, which is Excel. And we're going to bring the Google country codes. Well, it's just that got from Google. They're just country codes. Um, and we'll bring in the sheet. Now, if you're using 20.2 version or above, you can use a relationship which automatically recognizes, well, it's not automatically, you just choose and you can create a relationship between the two data tables. Otherwise, you can join them um, on the country name instead. So we'll go into our sheet and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create points for our origin point. So new to 2019.2, there is the make point feature and using a latitude and a longitude, longitude, you can make points for longitude and latitude. So if we double click that, we can see the tableaus making a spatial object using those different coordinates for each different country. Um, now looking back at our data, Typically, if you're going to use make point, you'd have um, an origin, longitude, latitude, a destination and their longitude and latitude. But every single one of these um, countries is obviously headed for the UK. So we're just going to go and actually take the longitude and latitude for the UK using England because um, that lands in the right place for me. And we'll make a field and we're going to call this UK lat and drop in the latitude and then we're going to grab the longitude and we'll drop in the UK long and now we have a longitude and latitude for the UK we can do the exact same thing as we did with the origin point so we'll just duplicate that and for this copy we can just drop in our new latitude and our new longitude and we'll call that UK point. And then that's going to obviously roll down the whole way through the table um, for every for every every country. Um, so now that we have a point to come from and points to go to, we can make our journey. So we'll use again new to 2019.2, we can use the make line function, which goes from one point to uh, the other point. And what that's doing is that's creating a line object um, going from, let's reduce that. And it's going, showing all of our um, countries going into um, the UK. Now, uh, what you can't do here is doing things like adding space or you can't size them independently. So if you want to see extra information relating to maybe the numbers of people coming from each country, you can have um, control, copy, control drag your latitude. And then for your second one, instead of having this collected object, you can just put your country name onto detail and your number of passengers. And then you can create a dual axis. And we'll maybe put that to the back just so that these lines in front show up more clearly. Probably don't need that. And those are all your points going in. So you can see you've got this many from Brazil, a lot from the US as well are heading in towards the port and getting stopped. Um, now, another thing you could do maybe is you could just drag in your region and your number of people. And uh, we'll just drag that down to text and make that a little bit light. And you can do things like maybe if you just have a quick um, figure for the total number of people um, coming in. Okay. And maybe we'll add 
the year on as a filter. Okay, so if you go to your dashboard, you can drag your map onto your chart and your regions and your little summary figure here. I've lost interest in adding a year filter. But what we can do is we can just say, if we're going to use this chart as a filter, you can then click through and see the total number of people coming in from the region, not necessary, and um, where where they're coming from into the UK and then obviously getting stopped and going the full way. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you now feel confident to work with spatial objects in Tableau yourself. You'll find all of the referenced data and workbooks in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll also like how to build an organizational chart by my colleague Gregory, which also looks at visualizing relationships between data points. Click the link to watch it next.